Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So within the last couple days, I've heard news about there might be a new A Nightmare on Elm Street movie coming, another reboot, since nobody really liked the last reboot they did. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to show my Nightmare on Elm Street Ultimate Freddy figures that I've had for a while. And I might have another little surprise at the end of this video. Ooh. Ah. Ah. So let's get going here and uh, let's start with the first one in Nightmare on Elm Street. All right, so here it is. On the front of the box here, you have the actual poster art, which is always very cool. Side of the box, side of the box, nothing special. And on the back here, you can see some of the accessories that Freddy comes with. He comes with the phone, with the tongue, his alternate head here, and then right here, when he chops off his fingers in the original movie and it has the green blood squirting up. That's freaking cool. If we open the box up, we have Freddy, the figure standing there with the backdrop. And there he is, that's what he looks like in the box. So let's break him open and take a look at him a little closer. All right, so here Freddy is out of the box. This is his backdrop. It looks like it's the boiler room. And it's made of a little thicker cardboard than I'm used to with these Ultimate figures. Usually these are real thin, but this is made of some pretty thick cardboard. This is pretty nice. I wish they did this with every single one of them. It makes it easier to stand up back here. Look, this is great. So let's put that to the side. So here's Freddy here. And um, I love his stance with this figure. I mean, check him out. Look how he stands here. This is great. Um, I really like the detail on this one. If you can see, he pretty much matches Robert Englund's character in part one. I mean, look at the detail on his burns here. This is awesome. So there's his glove. Now you can move his glove slightly and you can bend the wrist which is really nice but that's about all you can get right there same thing with his other hand twist and bend his other points of articulation are shoulders okay see shoulders his elbows there it's pretty good movement, not the best, but uh, acceptable. His neck, he can turn left and right, up and down. And then he has slight rotation in his waist, not too much because of his um, his sweater hangs down, but you can, you can move it. Now his legs here, you can see both of his legs can lift up, his knees bend, and like most of them, you can you can move the feet. Uh, you can't move them up and down though. You only have a little bit of movement, but it doesn't look like it's meant to move up and down, just left and right. But like I said before, this one has a very, very cool stance. I love how he's standing, kind of like when he was in the, uh, the alleyway in the original movie. Look at that, it's so cool. So, I took the hat out of the package here. And uh, if I put it on his head, it fits pretty nice. This Freddy with his hat on, it fits really, really nice. Um, it's not gonna fall off like some of the Freddy Krueger figures I have. Here we have one of his alternate heads. So I'm sure you'll remember this from the movie when he got his face ripped off and then he had just the, the weird bulging eye skeleton staring back. So that's really cool. There's the back. Oh! And then you have the second alternate head from Freddy. More of a menacing smile. This is really cool. Look at that. 
more of the gruesome burn marks on his head. Wow. So great. And you can see, I'm going to take the hat off of Freddy. You can see the differences between the two heads here that he comes with. One's more serious Freddy. The other one's just <laughs> this, the, the menacing laugh face. <laughs> this is great. And then right here we have the dead skin mask. You might remember this from the movie when uh, when Nancy's on the phone and uh, Freddy's tongue comes through the phone. That's a classic scene. And then right here, his alternate hand with the missing finger and then the blood squirting up. That's really cool. And that's it. So yeah, I really like this guy. And this is, I do have a couple other Freddy figures. They're not the ultimate figures. And so far, I really like this guy from the original one just because of his pose. I think his pose is so cool. Check him out. All right, guys, let's move on to part two. All right, guys, let's move on to Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. This box is slightly bigger from the normal size boxes that I'm used to for uh, the Ultimate figures. Um, but there's the original poster art for the movie. Side, side, and then you got the back. And the back here is really cool. So it has the two demon dogs here, and Freddy, and then Freddy on the school bus from uh, the introduction scene from the movie. Open up the front flap. It shows Freddy here from the pool scene from part two with the flames in the background. And uh, this is actually one of the accessories that you can get. It's a magnetic flame effect that you can put on Freddy himself. And then there he is. And I think the box had to be slightly bigger because they, because they gave you the two demon dogs here. There's Freddy, the alternate heads. I'm excited about this one. Let's break them open. All right, guys, here's Freddy out of the box. Let's take a look at the backdrop, which isn't my favorite. I mean, obviously it looks like it's him coming out of the pool, but eh, I don't know, but it's also made of that really thick cardboard, which is great. I really. It makes me wish that they did these with the uh, the ultimate Jason Voorhees figures because those that's real thin material and it's so much easier. Whoa, <laughs> so much easier to stand up in theory. But wow, no, <laughs> oh man. All right, so let's take a look at Freddy first. So here's the Freddy Krueger from part two. His normal hand and his clawed hand. Now you're gonna notice that this one, it has it coming straight from his actual flesh, which is really cool, as opposed to his glove, which is an accessory here. But this is how he came with the knives coming right out of his burnt flesh on his hand. So cool. Um, and it looks like he's gonna have very, very similar points of articulation. Um, this one, he can't go up and down with his head, but he can turn left and right. The one from part one, you can go up and down. This one has movements in his shoulders, up and down, rotates. Same thing with the other side. Um, his hands. Slight movement up and down. Just like the other one and you can rotate it same thing with his whoa same thing with his claws okay and his elbows bend there you go cool slight rotation in his waist but once again his sweater that hangs down over his waist is kind of uh it's kind of stopping him from doing full motion in his uh in his waist here. Well, you got a little bit here. A little bit better than the first one. Not bad, it was just a little stiff at first. But, looks like he has a little bit more rotation. Very cool. Legs. 
Whoa, very stiff knees. Oh my god. Very stiff knees. There we go. Knees. And then his feet. Very, very small, but they do they do move. He does have the two demon dogs with the human faces and can you get any creepier than these guys here? Let's take a look at them one by one. Wow. It's got kind of a, wow. I mean, this is amazing. Back of his head, he's got a little leash. His head turns. Oh, guys. Wow, this is amazing. And he's on a, uh, looks like a Rottweiler body. Very, very cool. <laughs> Jeez. Awesome. And then let's take a look at the other demon dog. You can see the detail on his face. Just a wide open mouth. Oh my God. Ooh. Different collar. And you can turn it just like the other one. Similar body, but holy crap, guys. I mean, just these two guys alone are worth this this part two figure. These are very, very cool. Put that next to Freddy himself. Then if you guys remember from part two, the movie, where when he crashes that pool party, he does have the flame in the back of him um, from the grill, I believe. And this is a magnetic accessory. It looks like it just... It's a magnet right there and it looks like it, yeah, oh, okay, kind of just pops in right there and there he is with the flame behind him. Very cool, let's get his hat. So here's his hat. I wanna see if it fits just as well as the one from part one. Oh yeah, absolutely does. won't pop off at all. These fit actually really nice. Sweet. Now let's take a look at some of his alternate heads. He has two alternate heads. There's one. His mouth wide open, looking menacing as ever. You've got the body and I've got the brain. Alternate head part two. These head sculpts on these ultimate figures are so great. I know I say it in every video, but man, these are great. And I showed you this earlier, the actual gloved hand with the knives in it. So you can take off the one that it came with and replace it with this one. So guys, what do you think of Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, the ultimate, the ultimate figure. I'm not disappointed. These guys make it worth it right here, and these are really cool. There we go. I know my camera angle kind of makes it hard to see the face, but there we go. Let's move on to Part 3. All right, guys, the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 Dream Warriors. A lot of people's favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Fantastic poster art. It's one of the best poster arts, in my opinion, for this franchise. Side, side. Then the back. So, this one comes with a couple really cool accessories. It comes with the puppet, the Freddy Krueger puppet. The actual house on Elm Street. Alternate heads, hands, and the chest of souls. Um, I'm pretty excited to actually put that on him. I'm actually gonna put that on him and show you what that looks like. So as we open it, as we open it, very cool. So we got the actual photograph of Freddy with the chest of souls. That's really cool. And then a little Freddy puppet, hat, chest of souls here. I'm pretty excited to check out the house and some alternate hands 
alternate heads on top. So uh, let's break them open. All right guys, just like before, here's the backdrop. Pretty basic and kind of boring like the, uh, the one from part two. But if you notice, it looks like this is when they started to cheap out on the backdrops. This is made from the same cheap, flimsy cardboard stock that they, they started using with all of their ultimate figures. So the man himself, Freddy Krueger, from Dream Warriors Part 3. And take a look at his first head sculpt here. Very cool. Now his head, ooh, little puppet. His head does turn left to right and it does have some art articulation going up and down. Shoulders, same as the other ones, up down, has some shoulder rotation. Okay. Elbows, very, very stiff, but there you go. They will bend. Not bad. Hands, they do have some rotation and they bend up and down in the wrist. Okay. And you can see his gloved hand in this one. It's pretty cool. It's like they have some gold, a gold plate on the outside for part three. You know, that's how he looked in the movie. Very cool glove on this figure, I have to say. I mean, look at this. It's menacing. That's great. So his waist, we do have some bending in the waist. A little bit more. Not as much as part two. Eh, about the same. Okay. And then legs. knees and his feet don't move much at all. This is about as much as you're going to get, just like the other ones. So he does have that specific pose for this one. Okay. You see he has a lot of movement forward and back from the legs. Look at that. It's pretty loose actually. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Let's put his leg, let's put this down. There we go. Three weeks later. No. There we go. So he stands up. He's not the easiest to stand up. He's kind of goofy looking right here, but there you go, not bad. So let's take a look at his alternate head. Now his head, sorry I didn't know it, but this does not light up. But the way they make a look on the box, looks like this little cross lights up and he has like a little clear area back here. Missed opportunity, NECA. I know they're starting to do it now with some of their newer figures. But how cool would this alternate Freddy head be if it lit up? That's all I'm saying. Just the one alternate head, his hat, and I'm guessing it's gonna fit just as well as the other Freddy figures, which it does. Doesn't fall off. Before we get there, let's take a look at his alternate gloved hands here. Well, this one is just his flesh hand with the needles, and it looks like a clear clear vials, which is really cool. Wow. Not bad. And then the one on his gloved hand. The clear vials with the uh, hypodermic needles that are used to shoot up. Ah, oh, what's her name in the movie? I can't remember what they, st he sticks it into her arm, into her veins because she's a drug addict in her dream. Same gold plating, that's awesome. The little puppet is pretty cool. Kinda hard to stand up with this little base. He has a little bit of articulation to him too. He can move his hands, or sorry, he can move his shoulders. And uh, that's about it, oh and his head. His head does rotate slightly, but it's kind of hard to stand up. So if you did want to pose him out of the box, you might have to rig something up to have this guy, oh man, to have this guy standing. Yeah, he stands, but it's not the best. Let's put him off to the side. And then you got the Elm Street House miniature version, the boarded up windows. Once again, this would have been cool if it lit up with the windows but it doesn't. 
Very cool. Well, this is what I wanted to check out, the uh, the actual chest of souls. So you can see the detail on his chest here, which is great. All the burned victims, all the burned souls coming, popping out through his chest. And it looks like this chest just removes and this pops on. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I took this piece off of him here, the front of his sweater, and it was actually pretty easy. It just pops right off. You can kind of see the seams here on his shoulders. But there he is with the chest of souls on him. Awesome. This torn sweater kind of hanging down there. <laughs> I love it. I'm not going to keep the chest of souls on him. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Um, you can see how easy it is just to take off. I just peeled it right off and let's put his regular sweater right back on him. There, ah, boom. Very cool, that's a really cool feature for this figure. I really like that a lot. But I have one more figure to show you, and I kind of teased it in the beginning. If you guys don't already know, it's Freddy Krueger from the NES game. Uh, let's take a look at him. All right, so here it is, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger from the NES video game. So this is the thing. I collect these, I collect these all the time, but I'm far from an expert. And uh, I've had this for years, just sitting in my collection. Never been opened, and I'll show you that in a second. But ever since I've been doing these videos, I keep seeing people say, well, if it has a similar box like this with the flap, it's considered an ultimate figure. Um, and I honestly don't know. I can't find any website or anything saying that this is an ultimate figure from NECA. I'm not 100% sure if that's true or not, so if any of you guys know, leave me a comment below and let me know if the NES Jason and the NES Freddy is part of the Ultimate series. But this is what the actual Nintendo Entertainment System Nightmare on Elm Street game look like. There's the actual box artwork, which is great. Side, side, in the back. And to tell you the truth, it's kind of plain. You know, it's just a novelty. It's actually really cool that they made a Freddy based on the video game. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about when I open it. So, that's the screen that you see in the video game. And then right here, you have the actual hit points. And if you actually have played the game, this is the top of the screen there. And then Freddy himself, you can already tell it's not his red and green sweater. It's just the colors they look like in the actual Nintendo game. So let's take him out. All right, like I said, I, I picked him up years ago and I always said I was never gonna take him out of the box. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to. Okay. Okay, so you can see it's got the old style thick cardboard. And oh wow, <laughs> that is so cool. That's right from the video game, guys. This is really cool. This is one of the better backgrounds that I've seen. So sweet. There he is. Still has the the wires on him. And uh, like I said, he's pretty darn plain. He doesn't come with any alternate heads or anything. Just the hat. And uh, that's it, and the man himself. So let's take him out. Oh my God, all right. So he has a crazy stance. Boom. All right, guys. So, yeah. Freddy Krueger from the NES 8-bit video game. Holy crap, he is so cool. And you can see the different color sweater. Just like he was wearing in that game. Okay, pretty basic, pretty basic glove hand. There's nothing special about it. Hardly any detail at all. But we're talking about a figure based on an 8-bit NES game, so it's not gonna have tons of detail. Bright red pants, <laughs> non-gloved hand, and then his, uh, his boots. So, articulation, yeah, you can rotate. Slight movement up and down. Shoulders, same as the other ones. Rotation and up and down. Uh, his hands rotate and yeah great same thing with the gloved hand and let's see yeah he does have some rotation in his in his waist but his legs nada zero 
He has nothing, nothing at all. No movement, no knees, no lifting his legs up at all. And his feet, of course, you can turn slightly and up and down. Here's his hat. I'm guessing his hat fits just as nice. Hell yeah, there you go. <laughs> and if we try to stand him up, let's put this over. Okay, there he is standing up. And if I put him in the actual backdrop, there you go. Freddy from the NES video game. First time ever out of the box. Very cool. But yeah, he's going back in the box. But yeah, what do you guys think of the NES Freddy Krueger? And is he part of the Ultimate Series? Because honestly, guys, I just don't know. I keep getting people say, yeah, yeah, he is. But I can't find any information saying that he is part of the Ultimate Series. But um, I just wanted to show you guys this anyways. Hopefully that made it worth it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this A Nightmare on Elm Street Ultimate Freddy Krueger uh, NECA figures. Which one is your favorite? Part one, part two, part three, or is it the one from uh, the video game, the NES video game? I put him back in the box, as you can see. But which one do you guys think is the coolest one? I mean, I don't know. I mean, how cool are these demon dogs here with the fire and all the alternate heads, the alternate hand? I think the part two is pretty darn cool, but I do like part one. I like how his stance is in part one. Not taking anything away from part three either. I mean, this, his little puppet's kind of cool. The chest of souls is cool. I wished his head kind of lit up, a little cross lit up, but oh well. But let me know in the comments below if you guys picked up any of these three Ultimate Freddy Kruegers. Uh, they've been out for a while, um, but I'm just getting around now to showing them. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.